Now, uh, we will develop some uh, geometric quantities related to uh, parametric patch, the length. So suppose gamma is a parametric patch. Uh, we said that it has a length. L. This L, the length of course depending on gamma. For different gamma, the length might be different. So if it is necessary, we denote this L by adding an index gamma to denote it. This is the length of gamma. So this this parametric patch has length. L. Uh, when it has a length, by definition, if for any epsilon positive there is a delta positive such that if such that the um, such that if p is a partition partition of a b which the gap denoted by the absolute value of p. Uh, this is a quantity uh, describing the uh, the the final finalness of the partition. Uh, that is the maximum of the length of the small interval, resulting small interval. Oh, sorry. So this partition P uh, divided the interval AB into M small intervals. Uh, each small interval, the, the I small interval, sub-interval, the length is Ti minus Ti minus 1. Now the maximum of this M length of the small interval is called the gap of P, denoted by absolute value of P. So if we so our parametric patch gamma has length L. If for every epsilon positive, there is a delta positive, such that for any partition, if the gap of the partition is less than delta, then This will less than epsilon. In this case, we say that gamma has length L. Okay, so what this means? Uh, so now this is our patch, and uh, a partition of the interval AB corresponding to take some point along the the patch. Uh, resulting from gamma or the image of gamma. Okay, so this is gamma t0, that is gamma a, and this is gamma t1, gamma ti minus 1, gamma ti, gamma tm, that is gamma b. So we uh, connect the, uh, the, the point gamma ti by segment okay so this segment uh, is the this segment uh, uh, the union of this segment is the so-called inscribed polygonal uh, inscribed polygonal uh, of C uh, so they are, they are total length the total length of this segment is precisely this. Okay, so this is the length of the uh, the ins inscribed polygonal. Okay, 
uh, because we we can uh, up to now we only know how to uh, measure the length of straight segment. The curve object we we don't know how to how to measure its length. But uh, we use the uh, inscribed polygonal to approximate the curve path our gamma. Okay. Then we use the length of the inscribed polygonal. If when I, if you if when you divide the in uh, the interval finer and finer, uh, you 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 add a more more point to divide the interval so that you give you you, you get a finer uh, subdivision of the curve. Then the, the corresponding uh, the, the the length of the corresponding inscribed polygonal approach a uh, number L. Then this it is reasonable to call this L as the length of our curve patch. Okay, so this is the idea to define the length. Ah, so uh, it just uh, the length is the limit when the gap of the partition goes to zero. Uh, the the limit of the Length of the inscribed polygonal. Okay, I said again. If there is a number L such that when the gap of the partition, that is, this is the gap, when the gap of the partition goes to zero, the length of the inscribed polygonal approach a number. Then this number is naturally we 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 call this number the length of our curve patch. Okay, so this is the definition. Uh, now, uh, what we are interested in is the length of the geometric patch. That is the image of this patch. Uh, so, but uh, the same geometric patch can have uh, corresponding to different uh, equivalent uh, parametric patch. So, if you you, you change the parametrization for the same uh, patch does the length of the curve uh, change uh, this is a crucial uh, problem because if you change the parametrization uh, instead of instead of gamma instead of gamma you use another parametric patch to represent the same uh, geometric patch. If the length are different, so you could not use the length of the parametric patch defined here as the length of the geometric patch. Okay. So a natural question is: Does this definition depend on the different patch chosen? Okay. So we will solve this problem in the next lemma. So, if gamma and eta, eta is defined in another interval, say alpha beta, are equivalent. And uh, gamma has length L. Then it also has length. Also L. Okay. So so this uh. This geometry uh, patch C, uh, this geometry patch C, that is this uh, bold red curve, has different parametrization. One is gamma, mm. okay. One is gamma from A B. The other 
is eta from alpha beta. Both these two uh, parametrization gamma or our eta has its range. Although they represent the same curve, same geometry curve C, uh, our lemma stated previous uh, just stated uh, says that the parametric path gamma and eta has the same range. So it is reasonable to use this common range. That is the range of any parametrization of C uh, to consider it as the range of the geometric path C. Okay. Now we prove this lemma. Uh, uh, so for any epsilon positive, because gamma is uh, gamma has range, so by definition there exists a delta positive such that if a partition P which M point of T I of A B satisfies the gap is less than delta. Then the total length of the inscribed polygonal less than epsilon. Okay, so this is the this is the length of the inscribed uh, polygonal of the pli uh, of the path gamma. Uh, sometimes we denote this by uh, maybe hello gamma p. Uh, it is reasonable to denote this by hello gamma p. Uh, that is the 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 inscribed uh, the length of the inscribed polygonal determined by the partition P of our curve gamma, our path gamma. Okay, so by definition, since gamma has length L, for any epsilon there is such a delta. So that once the partition satisfies the condition that the gap of the partition is less than delta, then the corresponding uh, length of the inscribed polygonal will uh, bound in uh, near L in epsilon. Okay. Now the 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 two paths are equivalent. Equivalent means that there is a map sigma from alpha beta strictly increasing and uh, continuous which continues inverse, okay? So this is uniformly continuous because alpha beta is a closed interval. Uh, uh, sorry. We, we say that uh, gamma and eta are equivalent. Equivalent means that there is such a sigma. There is a, such a sigma such that eta is the composition of gamma and the sigma, okay? But uh, this sigma is uniformly continuous. Gamma is uniformly continuous. Therefore, for the delta above, for this delta, uh, we will have a long positive such that sigma s minus sigma t will uh, sigma r not t will not greater than delta if the different the distance of s and r less than rho so this is using this is a consequence of the uniformly continuity of sigma we obtain for the delta above, we obtain a low positive so that as long as st in the interval alpha beta, 
uh, and uh, the episode the value of s and r less than low, then the corresponding value of sigma at s and r uh, will have the, the, the difference will absolute value of the, the difference will less than delta. Okay, so so this t <coughs> so if capital T is a partition of alpha beta. Partition of alpha beta such that the gap is less than rho. What this means? The gap of the partition of alpha beta less than rho. This means si minus si minus one. This is the length of the of a sub interval of this partition. But the, the gap of the partition is the maximum length of the sub-intervals. So the difference of si minus si minus 1 will also less than low. Thus, using the uh, uniform continuity, we see that sigma si minus sigma si minus 1 will less than delta. Okay? So, we can consider, we take sigma si to be ti. Ti. Of course, uh, sigma si minus 1 is ti minus 1. Then we have uh, the absolute value of ti minus t ti. Is less than delta. That is to say, this Ti give us a partition of the AB interval. Uh, you see, this is AB. This is alpha, beta, and uh, we have a partition of alpha beta S0, S1, S2. Si minus 1, Si, Sk. And then we have the map sigma. The sigma is a continuous, uh, strictly increasing continuous function uh, whose range is AB. Okay. So the corresponding, and the, 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 the image of the, the partition T of the AB interval give us a partition P of the, sorry, uh, the partition, the, the partition, uh, the partition of alpha beta t uh, is mapped to a partition of AB. T0, T1, T2, Ti minus 1, Ti, and the Tk is B. Okay, now uh, the uh, our previous uh, discussion here means that the resulting partition P of the AB interval satisfies Ti minus ti minus 1 less than delta that is to say this is true for every i so the the gap of the partition p is less than delta therefore therefore The inscribable length of the, the length of the inscribable polygonal of the uh, the, the, the patch eta. This is precisely gamma sigma si minus gamma sigma si minus one. Okay, then this is the sorry gamma ti minus gamma ti minus one. So this is less than epsilon uh, because the partition p 
I is from zero to to k. Ah, this partition, the gap of this partition is less than delta. But by the by the assumption that gamma has lunch L, we we know that uh this if a partition of uh, if the the gap of a partition is less than delta, then the corresponding lunch of the inscribed uh polygonal the uh the minus L, which absolute value less than epsilon. Okay. Once the length, once the gap of the partition is less than delta, this will be true. But now our partition P, the gap is less than delta, so this will be true. Ah, so this proves that for any epsilon positive, for any epsilon positive, we have a low. We obtain a low, uh, using the uniform continuity of, of our sigma, we have a low positive, such that for any partition of alpha beta, which gap less than delta, less than low, the resulting, uh, the length of the resulting, uh, inscribed polygonal of the parametric patch eta minus L, which is absolute the value less than epsilon, so it has length. Hello. So this proved our result.